Hi, I'm Marcus Fairs of Dezeen, and the next stop on the Dezeen and Mini World Tour is our home city of London, where the London Design Festival is just about to get underway. Dezeen is based in Stoke Newington, which is a former village in the northeast of London, in Hackney. It's connected to central London by this street we're on now, which is the former Ermine Street, which was one of the most important roads during the Roman occupation of Britain. And this road cuts in a straight line through London, linking together some of the more interesting and more upcoming parts of London. The next stop down is Dalston, which used to be 10, 15 years ago, a place where nobody would go to, but now is probably the most vibrant nightlife part of London. It's completely transformed itself in recent years. And then beyond Dalston is Hoxton and Shoreditch. These areas have become to symbolise the new creative economy of London. They're stuffed full of digital companies, technology companies, design companies. It's a real hotbed, a real focus of new types of creativity. Actually at Dezeen we first became aware of this incredible density of talent when we did our Design and Hackney initiative last year where we plotted on a map all of the design studios, the architecture studios in the area and found the pins on the map were so dense you couldn't see the map behind it. And we did a special day, we presented some of the most interesting young creators in London at Design in Hackney Day. And it really felt that we'd kind of discovered a critical mass of design talent that is unrivaled anywhere else in the world. And why do all these people cluster around here? Well, London is full of amazing design schools. I think that's a really important point, that people from all around the world come to London to get their design qualifications. And then they make friends, they enjoy the culture, and they stay and they set up studios. It's a really hard place to set up as a designer. London's really expensive, really competitive, really unfriendly to, to newcomers. But once you get yourself established, it's probably one of the best places in the world to be. There's a lack of bureaucracy in London. It's much easier to set up a business than in many other parts of the world. Very important too, there's lots of money in London. And that's created problems. The property market has been going up non-stop, but it also creates uh, wealth, and wealth is the thing that turns the gears of creativity in, in many ways. And the most visible sign of all this money is the new skyline that's emerging in and around the city of London. London used to be a place where world-class architects didn't really feel like they could get any decent work, but now with projects like the Cheese Grater and the Shard, London really is coming into its own. I guess Hackney's become a place where creative people have flocked to because traditionally it's been relatively cheap compared to the rest of London. It's very central, but rents have been lower, and that's changing fast as the area gets a reputation for being a hot place to base yourself which inevitably will change the dynamic here. It will make it more difficult for young people to start up their businesses. But London is a big city. People are already moving further to the east, to the south, crossing the river. London, I think, will always be able to regenerate itself.